So today I'm talking about a P0015 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0015 code? Well, it's a B camshaft position, timing over retarded bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a sensor called the camshaft position sensor that's monitoring the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer and the computer seeing that the camshaft position is off, that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing on bank one. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite is going to be bank two. And bank one is the side of the engine that the computer's seen a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter. You'll only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0015 code? Well, the first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure that it's not low or really super dirty because low or dirty engine oil can affect the variable valve timing components. And so first thing to do is be sure the engine oil is not low and that it's not dirty. The next thing that could cause this and a very common problem with this code is gonna be some kind of issues going on with the variable valve timing. And it's gonna be something along the lines like with the solenoid, the oil control valve, or the actuator that's attached to the cam, sometimes called the phaser. These variable valve timing components, they can adjust the timing depending on what's going on with the engine. And if there's some kind of issue going on with any of these components, then it's going to cause issues and it can't cause a P0015 code. Oil flows through all these variable valve timing components. And this is the reason why low or dirty engine oil can affect these. It can cause issues with them. It could throw them off. The most common failure inside the variable valve timing components is going to be the solenoid. These very commonly go bad or become all clogged up from old oil or different things like this. But there's also an oil control valve that controls the oil flowing through all of these. And there's also the actuator or phaser that's attached to the cam, which is located up at the top of the engine and what the timing belt or timing chain is going to be riding on. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on with the timing chain or timing belt. So these timing belts and these timing chains, they all have marks and they all need to line up correctly. And if one of these marks gets off, if that belt or timing chain slips and this notch is a little bit before or a little bit after, then that can throw off the timing and that's going to cause issues. Also a very common problem with these timing chains or timing belts is that when they get old, they start to stretch out. And when they get stretched out, they can start to throw the timing off just a little bit and this can cause issues. So if the timing chain or timing belt has a lot of miles on it, that can cause problems. Also, there's what's called a tensioner that'll hold the timing chain or timing belt tight. And if there's some kind of issue with it, if it's not holding everything tight for some reason, then that can also throw off the timing and cause issues. But the next thing on the list is gonna be a bad timing chain, timing belt, or the tensioner that holds them all tight. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. Although this isn't too common with this code, usually when you get a P0015 code, it's going to be something else like a bad variable valve timing component or something going on with the timing chain or timing belt. But it is possible that there's something going on with that camshaft position sensor that it's reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer thinks that there's a problem when there isn't a problem. But usually when there's some kind of issue going on with a camshaft position sensor, you're going to get some kind of other code. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0015 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.